Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I hope everyone's had a good week. I've been so busy, so sorry for the lack of HVAC content, but I've been busy trying to sort this new build out. Um, so, since the last time you saw the back of this, I've had a vapor barrier installed and I've just put a floor down so it's a plywood floor that's been carpeted um so the story is basically with this fan i'm not even going to open it because it is i'll open it just to show you but it's full of i don't normally work like this but it's absolutely shockers um so with this i've built the floor myself um anyway with this one just to save some time because i'm so busy i actually just paid someone to put the vapor barrier in and put the floor in and i'm going to build the toolboxes myself and anyway long story short i wasn't really happy with the floor i've spent most of this morning <laughs> fixing it um basically they didn't use good contact adhesive so the carpet was peeling up i fixed all that those four bolts one two three four they weren't there i've done that um utilizing these anyway it's all good now so i'm happy with that um but honestly if you want something done right you seriously have to do it yourself which is a bit annoying but that's why i'm going to do the toolboxes myself so anyway um first step of the build was getting a floor down getting the vapor barrier install i do that obviously because i'm a fridgy and you don't want gases whatever going inside it honestly mostly it's just because i want it to be super quiet in the cab so i'm pretty excited it's ready to start fitting it out so let's get to it <laughs> This is my parents' house, so we all come to work. <laughs> anyway, let's go see what he's doing.
the vapor barriers in and the start of the build is in so basically there's going to be a drawer out the back like my other van um it's going to be tools utilized in that area like my other van um basically i've made the drawers smaller so i can have more access for sliding in you know actual air conditioners both the fan coils and the condenser um before it had i had my nitro and um oxy bottle there um but i found that getting it out it was hard because that's on an angle so basically um this little section i've measured it and made it the perfect size for my battery to go in so there's going to be a little battery compartment there like a second um, battery because i've got a dual battery set up um and i'm going to utilize the back area for nitro bottle um oxy bottle basically this is all going to be it'll make more sense basically everything's going to be like carpeted and whatever here i'm utilizing because um i'm gonna have my level like that's it's gonna be going across i'm gonna have like my level and long drill bits and whatever in there I'm gonna have batteries here um it's gonna be power here so it all makes sense in the next couple of episodes as it like unfolds but um every single part of this van is being utilized even these sections for stuff so there will be um i don't know if you can imagine this but it's gonna be a drawer there and up here is going to be a lot of pack out of different parts my Milwaukee trolley is going to be in that section there. There's also going to be some pack out above it. So I'm trying to utilize as much like volume um, of the like this area and have like no dead spaces. Don't want to block my vision. So I've just tweaked it and made some changes compared to my old van, but that's where we're at now. Once again, draw tools are going in here these are all like um that is going to be for vacuum uh, the milwaukee box you'll see what i mean and yeah that's where we're at now day one there's been absolutely nothing screwed into the vehicle whatsoever just utilizing bolts everywhere so that's it for this just a quick video letting you know how Things are progressing with this van, and that's where we're at.